Hey guys, Coach Brissett, back here at Primetime Baseball. I'm gonna run you through a drill, working on the back side, pretty much exclusively hitting this. This is uh, one of uh, my sales and Coach Gaggy's favorite drills. It's a staple we use here at Primetime, and we're gonna explain it to you. Um, it's called half backside activation, okay? And it pretty much, it is what it sounds like, okay? When we're getting in our stance, I'm gonna talk about it real quick, what it is. I wanna see you guys start up with this backside already, already pretty much half gone, or half moving through the baseball. Okay, and from here we're gonna take our normal swing. Let's talk about this and take a step back. Common flaws we see, why we're doing this, why are we hitting this? Okay, obviously we know that's our power, our backside. Okay, a lot of kids in our day and age are really, really trying to elevate the ball and get it up in the air. Okay, they're trying to manipulate this ball to get in the air, which is great, don't get me wrong. We need to hit doubles and triples in a home run, but I don't wanna sacrifice my ability to come here on the ball and now I can't hit hit, I can only hit one pitch in the middle. Most people don't realize that where you get your angle from and how you get the ball up in the air is from this back side, okay? Coach Cash and I always play golf together, okay? And here's the difference of what my point is. In golf, if you know a golf swing, we swing and we come forward on the ball, okay? All that weight's coming here and it'll go boom, straight down low shot, good swing in golf. Coach Cash and I, we both shoot around 75, so our swings are perfectly tailed. That's a little bit of a joke. When I do my golf swing, I'm gonna get here and I'm gonna get back and I'm gonna lean on it pretty much all the years of baseball. Where do you think my ball goes? Straight high in the air, right? Any kind of wind, it's gonna get blown to the side. That's where we struggle. So it's the same concept when you're hitting. If I wanna get that ball up in the air, I have to hit it. I have to drive it here and my approach is gonna be here and I'm gonna get it up, not here. Okay, notice my shoulders drop. That means my barrel's gonna drop. Look, you may hit one ball, but you're not gonna be a consistent hitter, okay? So, we got our thing. That's flaw number one. Flaw number two is if we come to the ball and we push up, all right? How many times do we see that with the youth kit? All right, we're up here and we swing and it's like this. Well, that looks really strong, doesn't it? No, of course not. We're trying to stay into our swing and stay low. That's where our power is. So, simple right here, we're gonna load. We're gonna get here into our swing. Take a look at where I go and when I load. Okay, do you see me rocking back? Absolutely not, right? If we rock back, where does my head go? Back and then forward. It's just difficult to hit like that. So I'm gonna stay nice and strong. My staple is my hand and my front foot working together. Bam, and when I feel my good rhythm, of course, I rolled over there a little bit. Okay, rollovers happen, but we make our adjustment as soon as we possibly can, okay? So I get in my stance, I feel my hand. All right, a little better for me. That's a line drive and I can feel the top spin coming up out of it. So that's what I'm trying to perfect here when I go into these drills. I gotta be perfect, because if I can't hit this ball on the tee, how am I gonna hit a lot? It's gonna be a difficult time. So I master this here, now we're talking, now we're smooth through it. So, a little bit of things. Study my video, guys, study our video, okay? See where our swings are. We've all done it at a high level. And again, if we can master it here, good things are gonna happen when we go live.